So this is an improper integral because I have infinity in one of my bounds. So the first thing I have to do is turn it back into a proper integral. By swapping out my infinite bound for a limit. The next part, I have to actually integrate this. So x times e to the x, this is going to be, well, is it algebra trig or a mixture of stuff? It's a mixture problem. It's a mixture of algebra and exponentials. It's not going to be a u substitution. So I'm going to have to integrate this by parts, which means I'm going to follow the rule of late. I'm going to come off to the side and evaluate the indefinite integral, and then we'll put that back into our limits. Since I have a mixture of algebra and exponentials, algebra comes first in the word late. My u would be x, which makes dv everything else, e to the x dx. When I take the derivative of x, I'll get du is equal to dx, and the antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. Putting that together, I get to turn this into ultraviolet voodoo. So x e to the x minus the integral of e to the x dx, or x e to the x minus e to the x. Normally on the indefinite integral, I'd want to put a plus c here, but because I know we're actually doing a definite integral, I'm gonna skip that. When we're doing integration by parts, it's important that, to note that we're plugging in these bounds of a and one to the entire antiderivative. Plugging in the one everywhere. I am looking at one times e minus e, and then subtracting off, plugging in a. So a e to the a minus e to the a. Let's clean up the first part. E minus E is zero, so we don't really need that. Now we're taking the limit as A approaches negative infinity. And if I distribute this minus sign in, I'll have negative A E to the A plus E to the A. Here's where we get to use our 17a skills in terms of limits. If I have addition inside of a limit, I can break that apart as two separate limits, which I'm going to do because one of these is more complicated than the other. So here I've got the limit as a approaches negative infinity of e to the a. This limit we can evaluate right off. If I plug in negative infinity, that I'm looking at e to the negative infinity. A couple of different ways to think about that, but my favorite is just thinking about a graph of e to the x. As x approaches negative infinity, my y value is going to zero. So the answer to this limit is zero. This limit over here, if I put in the negative infinity right now, then it's like I'm saying I've got negative times the negative infinity times e to the negative infinity. But we already know that e to the negative infinity is going to zero, and infinity times zero is one of our indeterminate forms. It's not an indeterminate form that we can use L'Hopital's directly on, so we'll have to manipulate it before we can use L'Hopital's. What I want to do to manipulate this is rewrite the original function 
of negative AE to the A power and rewrite that as negative A over E to the negative A. By rewriting it like this, when I plug in the negative infinity, I now have infinity on the top and because this would be minus a negative infinity, I'll have e to the infinity or infinity on the bottom. Once this is in infinity over infinity form, we can use L'Hopital's to evaluate that limit. If I take the derivative of the top, I get negative one. And taking the derivative of the denominator, I'll have negative e to the negative a. Now when I plug the negative infinity in, the negative and negative infinity will cancel out, making this positive. So I've got e to the positive infinity. So this is going to infinity. And I have negative one divided by infinity, which means this is also going to zero. So this, we would say that this entire integral converges because our final answer came out to be a number. Those limits were not undefined.